from you and all across the land. This is now Faith Is World Outreach Ministries, a ministry that God is using to reach the worlds, to reach the masses, to manifest the mind and the heart of God to you. I might say that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. awesome. You don't want to miss it. Whatever you do, get still, get your pencil, get your pads out, and begin to document God's Holy Spirit gonna write it on your heart. But also learn to take you some notes in case you forget. Amen? Amen. So you can go back and put yourself in remembrance of some good things that God is saying to your life for such a time as this. We want to introduce to some and present to others our pastor, Prophet Darrell D. Johnson. Amen. I am his beautiful co-pastor and his wife and his friend. I confirm that. Glory to God. Glory to my companion tribulation. Glory to God. We are learning how to fight good together. Glory to God. Amen. The dynamic do all. Don't fool with us. Don't fool with us. How about that? You can laugh. Hello. Amen. But I'm not telling a story. I'm telling the truth. Listen. The Lord has a word for you today. So I want you to get this word in your heart. Go back. Meditate. Meditate on this word. Know that you know you need to meditate. Learn how to take control over your thoughts. Learn how to take control over your mouth. Because you can build with your mind and your mouth. You create with your mind and your mouth. I mean, you can create something good or you can create something. Come on now. I read your word. But anyway, nevertheless, it's getting ready to happen for such a time as this. So we're going to rise up. i got to ask y'all that. I know y'all need some exercise anyway. Amen. Some of y'all have to join the gym. Jump up. Jump down. Turn around. Hey. <laughs> anyway, all righty. We're going to act like the warrior people do. If you go in the palace, everybody stands. Glory. When the queen and king walk in the room. So listen, we want to honor our God in the person of Prophet Darrell G. Johnson. And we're going to add our faith together. I want you to pull your faith up here with us. And we're going to say and declare to this man of God. Can we say, God bless. God bless. The prophet. The prophet. God bless. God bless. You be seated. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's get ready to go into the word of God. Thank God for all the priests and kings of the Most High God. That would be everybody that's in the room. So I wish you done that. Thank you. you was a king before your mother gave you a earthly name. Amen. You were known as a king. Yeah. King and priest unto God. The book of Exodus, it talked about the purpose of Israel, that they were purpose uh, to bring the world back to God, mm -hmm. being known as priests and kings under God. And if that ever becomes a revelation to us all, then we will live different. And we'll, we, we will make different decisions. You make decisions based upon your character. Mm -hmm. The state of being that you are at the time is, is simply uh, based upon the character that you are. And your character is driven by what you hear. You heard something to make you act like you act. You heard something that made you make the choice you made. It was, it was, um, it was, um, it was your choice. It really was your choice. You made that choice. But choices are based upon what you actually hear. What you consistently hear will affect, uh, affect the reality of how you live. You've been told you're stupid or wrong enough, you're going to respond to stupid. If you don't discover that you're greater than the last man's opinion. Sometimes you live in the ignorance of man's opinion when you don't know who you are. You become enslaved to another man's thought pattern. You could be enslaved to a mistake from yesterday that you choose choose not to step out of. So now you, you, you become a victim of your past. You're a prisoner. You throw the key away. And you lock yourself up in an event that you really don't have to experience anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this where you can get this in 2020. And I've tried to church you. What I want to do today is educate you, exalt you, and empower you. 
that you would have an impact when you leave this door. What is church if it doesn't affect your now? What is this? What is this? What, what's this? What's this? What is this? What, what, what does it do for your bottom line? This is time out of your life. The clock's still ticking. The heart's still beating. What is this? Every moment is information. Every moment is knowledge. Every moment is a chance to do battle. Every moment of your life. You can talk about yesterday, but yesterday won't help you now. How relevant are you now? What will you do now? Now that's done, what will you do? Who will you do now? The biggest damage I've done to my life, I did. It wasn't you, I did. <laughs> Even if you say this person came in my life and abused me, you did. Mm -hmm. Because you wasn't discerning. Mm -hmm. You allowed that person in your space. Come on now. Did they break in or did you invite them in? Did they break in your life or did you invite them in your life? Wow. Was the appetite of your lust cause them to come into your life wow. and mislead you? By your own lust. Mm. And when I'm talking lust, I'm not talking sexual. Mm. A lot of lust. Mm. Right. Your motive could be wrong. Mm. Why, 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 do you, why do I need you? My, what's the purpose of you being in my life? Why do I need you as a friend? Mm. Why should I label you friend? Have you earned the title? Right. Are you someone just passing through mm. my life? Mm. Some people I let go through my life like Casper, the friendly ghost. Some of you, y'all too, too young to know who that was. But some of you my age know Casper, the friendly ghost. He, he can just walk in and walk out. And some people have spirits like Casper, there's no commitment. They just walk in and walk out. Ooh. They don't care how you feel. It's a dangerous day to be in a relationship by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's a day for me to call you friend and you're not calling me friend. Something wrong with that picture. Yeah. I'm your best, but you're not my best. Something wrong with that. I see value, but you don't see value here. Somewhere it's going to be robbery. If that's not an even exchange, then you're robbing me. Does anybody get this here? I know you want to get to Paul, but let me talk. We can talk about Paul. Tells a few. You just leave Paul. Paul didn't find it. Those are called Charmon. Don't talk about John. We talk about John, man. Let's talk about you. See, see people don't want to see. We talk about Paul, let's talk about you. Hello. What are you, Paul, hearing that? What you hearing? What are you hearing? What are you hearing that's life changing? What are you hearing that's life promotion or life deduction? I bet you're hearing me. It's what you hear, is it promoting your life or is it, is it deducted from your life? What are you hearing? What got you feeling like you feeling? What got you feeling some kind of way? Why are you feeling like, why are you sitting there feeling like that? What, where did it come from? Tra chase it, face it, and erase it. Come on now. It's just me. Uh-uh, uh-uh, we ain't going to stop it just me. That ain't good. Let's, let's chase me. What did me come up with me? Say. Is anybody here yet? Uh-huh. But you got to say amen anyway. You may be driving down 635 and you'll say amen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you're good to take this word. you say amen. Be okay. Because we, 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 put, we put too much on everybody and we take no ownership for now. Mm. Come on no now. responsibility. It's easy for me to point the finger at you. Come on now. It's easy for me to point the finger this way, but I got I, I got about four or five coming, four of them coming back this way. Say. Wow. How did how did you get in that state? How how, how did you get there? But we're so busy when, when situation and events show up, we want to get out, but we don't question the event. Come on now. What led me here? What got me here? Why, why am I feeling oppressed? Why am I feeling depressed? Why do I feel lonely? Why do I, why am I not feeling connected? Why am I angry? Why am I bitter? Why, why do I have a bad spirit? Why do I don't, why I got a jealous spirit? Come on now. Mm. Mm. These are questions that you gotta ask yourself. <laughs> Being king and priest after all God's own heart. <laughs> you, you you just can't live with the condition. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? 
we, we step in, in, we step into a whole new century. <clears throat> Will you repeat the last 10 years? Let's, let, let's do some quick math. Add 10 to whatever age you are. What is that? You ain't got to tell nobody. What is that? Same. Do you want that to look like this? Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Let's get something to think about. Get something to think about. Let's add 10 to your age. Whatever that is, let's add 10 to it. It's going to happen. It's going to come. Brother, you come in with black hair or gray hair, it's going to come. Hello. It's not no stopping. It's going to come. Smooth face, wrinkle face, it's going to come. You get tired of the die, and you got to live beyond the die. You got to live. Say. Huh? <clears throat> Do we man got to go out of style? You still got to live bald headed, but you got to live. Same. <laughs> style going to change, but you got to live. Yes, we do. You, you got to find a way to live through the things that's been kicking your butt. You got to find a way to try out. Yeah. Come yeah. on now. Exactly. Yeah. Come on now. Easy. We're so easy to throw in the fuck. We're so easy to give up. Hmm? We want everything instant. Because we don't know, we don't know how to match the process. Mm. Ah. The instant. <clears throat> I want to change, but I want it to be instant. But you've been dealing with this ten years, Come on, and then you want to instantly get out of it. And so God said, "What, what if I just turn the thing into a classroom now? What, what if allow me to turn your mess into a message?" Come on now. <laughs> oh. Okay? Well, allow me, since, since, you, since you've had this mess 10 years, allow me to now turn the mess into a message. Mm -hmm. Now allow me to turn the place where you once enjoyed in your flesh, let me turn it into a classroom and teach you mm -hmm. from the point of wrong. Mm -hmm. Now let me teach you from this point. Mm -hmm. Now let me cause your mess to be your young best son. That's why the book from your mess. There's some other young men who know that they don't have to come here. But you follow what I'm saying? See, I truly believe, Sister Kimberly, everything you go to ain't just about you. Come on now. That, that, that there's a nation waiting on your word. That there's a nation waiting to see did you come through it. When that woman about to give up, you said, baby, you ain't got to give up. Come on now. I know, I met him in the death. I met him in the dry place. He supplied the impossible in an impossible place. Yes, sir. I know what he'll do yeah. when there's nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. Let me throw you a point right quick. A lot of times, sister, 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 uh, 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 a lot of times, sister Margot, people cop out on this here. What I did the best I know. And, and, and some people bag off on that. Mm. When, when I'm doing the best I know, you know anybody hear that? With, with that same tonage. Mm -hmm. When I, I, I'm doing the best I know. And you know what my reply is? Well, that means you need to know something else. Mm -hmm. If that's your know, then you need to know something else. Right. Right. See, you're angry to that quick. I don't feel sorry for it. I need the best I know. Stop right here, I have, because you're stupid. Because <laughs> I ain't, ain't buying all that crap. Right. So, that don't move me. It's too much. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. It is the lack of mercy. It is the lack of grace. It is the lack of money. It's the lack of knowledge. And so if, if, if you've done the best you know, that means you need to know some more. Mm. Hello, come come sit here and learn of me. Right. Yes, yes. I bet you get the message. Yes. Huh? So that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Well, I couldn't learn them to go to the next room. Say. Well, you don't understand. I went to this church and, and the pastor, I don't hear about your pastor. I'm talking about God. You're talking about the male man, I'm talking about the man. Don't come here talking about your male man to me. He just delivered of the male. Your problem is not with the man, it's with the male that was delivered. That's your challenge. Because we'll cop out on the male man. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to be saved because this man and this woman, they did. Baby, what did the content of the letter say? Was it talking about your male man or the word? Come on. So now. I'm not trying to hear about your pastor, your prophet. So, what's that have to do with the price of milk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? What's that do with the price of milk? It was a, it was a letter delivered to your house. 
and you're going to stand up and tell me you didn't come to court because how the mailman looked. Wow. They're going to throw you in jail because the content of the, of the message what well, about the mailman. It's about you coming to court. I bet you're getting the message. Mm -hmm. I bet you got that one. Mm -hmm. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so if you got a letter from the from to come been summoned to the court, and you say, well, the mailman had on short pants, so I didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, he was the mailman. The message was to you. Say. <laughs> are, 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 are we following what I'm saying? <laughs> See, somewhere in this, you're going to have to warm it up and man up. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere in this, you gotta bury your 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 excuse cannot be an excuse mm -hmm. these next ten years. Mm -hmm. Ah, Jesus! All right. Whatever excuse you couched on in the past, that's baby stuff. Paul said, "When I when I was a, a child, I spake like a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things." Mm -hmm. You of age, you gotta put away childish things, huh? You know, even at 21, that's some things you can put away now. Even at 15, that's some things you can put away. Come on you now. Mean, you won't be walking around at 15 with a rattle in your hand, shaking it. Come on now. In the algebra class. Uh huh? That, that, that don't fit the culture. <laughs> Am I right? right? You would just blur out stuff while someone's talking in the classroom. Anybody goes, anybody still in high school? Anybody let me see hands? Anybody in high school? Do you just blur out anything you want to in class? No. Do you interrupt the teacher? Do you sleep? Huh? Oh, okay. So we run with seats, huh? Well, well, we can't give God no shorter than that. Because obviously, obviously if the teacher's talking, they're trying to give an impartation. And you you interrupt the flow of that that's being sown with your stupidity. Go, go to Mark 8 chapter. That's what you're talking about, truth. Hello. It's true, true. It's plain truth. Yeah. Truth. Truth. The truth is, if, if you don't, if you don't change what you know, you won't keep doing the same thing. Come on now. The year don't make you change. 2020, you ain't gonna change because the year turned out the calendar. You got to change. Something you got to do. I'm going to tell you the biggest enemy of your destiny is inconsistent. Come on it's now. Being, not being consistent. Not oh. being consistent. You, I don't know anybody want to deal with anybody that's inconsistent. Would you want a friend that's inconsistent? One day you call them and they, and, hey, how you doing? And the next day, they got a negative attitude. You're like, what is this? Come on mm. now. Mm. You, you, would you want a friend one day you, you can hug them and the next day you don't know if you want to punch them in the mouth or what? Same. <laughs> I mean, come on, show us a strange behavior. Uh -huh. right. Is anybody here in this? Would, would you want a relationship? I, I mean, I mean, where, where one day, one day you, 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 your lady friend is running towards like, like tulips, you know, come on, running through the tulips, <laughs> then, then the next day they're throwing rocks at you when they see you coming. What is that? Same. <laughs> you, you follow what I'm saying? Something, something's wrong with that picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Go to uh, 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 go to uh, Mark, the, Mark the 8 chapter. You have the remote to your life. Hello. I understand that. You have the remote to your life. Just give me the other remote to your life. You're responsible. If you can't trust what you say, who can you? Say. What are you telling yourself? What are you speaking over yourself? What do you believe that you say of yourself? Now, now, now if, 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 I can, if I can impose my opinion over your identity, then you may have low self-esteem. Is anybody hearing this? Mm -hmm. If I can change your thought about something you really believe, then that must have been a solid thought. Say. Is anybody hearing this? Mm -hmm. Go to uh, go to uh, Mark the eighth chapter, and I, I'm going to. Uh, 
Mark the eighth chapter. Let's go to Mark the eighth chapter. And we'll get into some things. We'll get into some things. Y'all okay? Mm -hmm. Y'all sure y'all okay? Yeah. Yes, sir. How many know God is up to something with your life? Yes, he is. How many know that, that your, your next 10 years will be measured by your year? Hello. Before you can look at a year's vision, you got to look at a 10-year vision. And so I gauge my year by my 10-year vision, and I back back. And that gives me the appetite for this year based on my 10-year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Say that again. Because you got a narrow vision if you just focus on one year. What are you gauging the one year by? You can't gauge it from your, from your past. So you got to gauge it from forward. Mm -hmm. What if I don't make it 10 years? What if you do? Hello. At least you just got overflow. You see what I'm saying? If, if you gauge, everybody want to say, if you gauge it from 10 years ahead and back back, because what you do now will govern the next 10 years of your life. If you mess it up now, you're going to be messed up then. Now, 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 now we're not going to, I'm, I'm going to say something, but we're not going to stay on just what I'm about to say. Okay? So don't, 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 don't scroll up on the, on the internet, because I'm going to say something, and don't worry, and just leave it right there. Because I'm going to say something, and a lot of people, you know, when you say certain things, they roll up on you. <laughs> So just leave, leave it right there, just leave it right there, because you may scroll again and see me again. So, a lot of times people can't move forward because there's money issues. You'd be surprised if, if a lot of people ain't doing nothing because of money. And that shouldn't be the chaser. Do you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That should be the chaser. How do you know that money don't come to you because you need it? If that's the uh -huh. case, we all be wealthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, can you think of a time you didn't need money? Yeah. Can you think of one time? Come on now. Can anybody think of one time you need some money? Because it, 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 it's currency. Uh -huh. Anyone calls you to see some things. Imagine they're gonna get charged up when you get money. Don't you get to thinking? You get enough money, you get to thinking? Huh? You see what I'm saying? So, 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 money shouldn't be the chaser. That shouldn't be the thing that we're that we're that that we're seeking. But a divine idea. Come on now. Someone said divine idea. A divine idea. A God concept. How about that? A God concept. A, di a, di a divine idea. And normally, let me say this here. You might want to write this down or, or ink it. Work. Normally, you that happens when you don't try to fit in. See, don't try to fit in when God try to make you stand out. Come right on now. Mm, you get that one, come on. All right, See, a lot of times we lose it because we're trying to fit yes. in. Yes. When God's trying to make you stand out. That's good. Wow. See, we, we too worry about fitting. <laughs> we always want to fit somewhere. <laughs> let, let me let me let me get in the cloud. Let me let me just get in the get in the flow. Get in the crowd. And see if God's trying to place you under the cloud. You, you remember you remember you remember the story about Israel? Mm -hmm. Huh? They was led by a ball of fire at night and a, and a cloud by day. Mm -hmm. Now watch this here. Sometimes that cloud would stay in one place for a whole week. And then sometimes when they went to bed, sister, sister Kimberly, the cloud would be right here. Say the cloud was right here. And then when they woke up, the cloud was over here. And so guess what they did? When they woke up and discovered the, the, uh, the cloud was over there, they would move, move where the cloud was. Yes. <laughs> they didn't get religion and say, well, I know what I'm sleeping with here. It ain't there no more. Say and so a lot of times we're trying to, trying to get things where God has been than where he's at. Come on now. And you're still Come trying to now. suck where God was. He ain't there no more. Say you're still trying to make happen. He ain't there. Mm -hmm. He done shipped on you in the night season. Mm -hmm. He shipped on you in the night season. Come on now. 
don't have to believe your word. Come on down. And we go to bed because and, and see with God, don't 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 try to lock him in because he's a moving God. <laughs> My wife preached that many years ago. Many, many, we was young. I think we was in our 20s. We, we're in our 60s now. I remember, she me in Houston, Texas. God's a moving God. And man, he tore me up. I can't even say it long night. Still mess me up. He's a moving God. Say. You can't box God in. You can't lock God into your mistake. Come on now. You can throw away the key and God got the mouth again and still let you out. Say. Thank you. I don't care what the doctor say. He'll come in. He'll come in the operating table and put a divine wisdom on the doctor. That's how I know what to do. Mm. Boom. Say. Holy God. Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yes. yes. You you can't you can't pluck oh, nothing out of God's hand. He's still using. Oh, you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> See, you're an instrument in God's hand, yes. and He ain't gonna let God take it. Take nothing out of His hand that He's using. I'm going to talk to somebody today. Something yes. talk you there, I'm going to talk you out of it. Right. Amen. Something got you in the mess, I'm going to talk you out of it. I'm going to talk you out of it. If you listen, faith never comes by what you heard, it comes by what you hear. Mm -hmm. Faith comes by hearing and hearing. Mm -hmm. You can't hear faith one time and go somewhere and sit down and think you got it. You got to keep hearing faith. Yeah. You got to yeah. keep hearing and hearing right. and hearing and hearing and hearing, and hearing, and hearing until your everything stays in the now. Amen. Come on. You got to live from the now. Yeah. Come on now. Can't live in the past. You you can't you can't grow and get full of something you ate. You got to be eating to. Yes. Come on now. Yeah. 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 You can you can eat. Come on. Do you hear what I'm saying? Absolutely. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Ain't no fulfillment in your past. Yes, you can't keep talking about what you did. Yes. What you doing? Yes. Power is in the do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Said so the power is in the do. Power is everybody hearing this truth? Yes. Yes. Ah, glory to God. Faith come by hearing. Come by hearing. Come by hearing. Come by hearing. Because y'all hear this? It comes by hearing. Mm -hmm. It comes by hearing. What are you hearing that will better your life? If you're not hearing nothing that better your life, why are you hearing? Why are you listening to it? Say. See, you gotta have an appetite for life. Yeah. I said you gotta have an appetite for life. Mm -hmm. You right like don't you clock out? You gotta have an appetite for life. You gotta have an appetite to live. You gotta have an appetite to do better. You gotta have an appetite for greatness. Do oh, you wanna man. be great? Glory. Then the menu gotta change. Mm -hmm. Come on now. It's certain things you can't eat if you wanna be great. Yeah. Huh? It's certain things you can't do if you want to be great. Amen. God, we praise you today. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Let me share something. When God begins to elevate you, you're going to lose what they call normalcy. Yes, indeed. You lose normalcy. When you start being great, certain things you can't go. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to walk in CVS and stand in the line. See, as God elevates you, the normal stuff will get wiped out. Say. Look at Megan, Megan and the Prince now. They, 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 they so royal, they want normalcy. Mm. They want to be able to walk in CVS again. They want to be able to stand up in Sears again. They want to be able to go through the car wash again. They want to be able to go to a concert again. Huh? See, 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 see the appetite changes as you elevate. I heard, I heard, um, um, I heard um, First Lady Michelle Obama say one time, she said, yeah, I'd be glad to get out of office just to be able to walk through CVS again. Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? No, no, no. Normalcy. You don't understand. You, you, you. Michael Jackson once said, he said, I wish I could just go to the park and just sit out. Mm -hmm. Wow. Huh? I, I hear 50 Cent say one time, he said, he said, yeah, all this happened. He said, but how do you get off this roller coaster? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Come on here. What you taking for granted? Come on here. <laughs> the, it ain't that no more. They, I just want some peace. Yay. I, uh, Sister, Obama, uh, Sister Obama, I mean, Michelle Obama said once, she said, if I could just go, we wouldn't allow the water to go to the curtain and look out. Mm -hmm. She said, it ain't going to be a blessing just to go to the curtain and look out the curtain and look at the sunshine. Uh -huh. Come on here now. Yeah. As you elevate, are you ready for it? Come on Because things going to change. Big time. 
Come on here. What we take for granted. What you, what you take for granted. Till much is given, what? Much is required. You got, you, got to be, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. Now, I, I, let, let, before I get to it, let me share something else with you too. Here's another one. Here's another one. Just, just take the food of thought. Here's another one. Salvation about your life, right? Right? Yes, yes or no? Talk to me. Yes. Ain't salvation about your life? Yes. How are you going to trust God with your life if you can't trust Him with your money? Hold on. Come on. I'll let this simple for me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm, go ahead, I'll wait. I'll wait. You drink a water. You, you think about that one. You're going to rest that I'm saying, people with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, I'm on my way to heaven. But you can't trust God with tithes and offering. You can't trust God with a vow. How, how can I trust you with my life, but I don't trust you with my money? Does that make sense to you, Mr. Skinner? No. Now, now, I said you was all done in the bag of chips, but I can't trust you with my money. But, 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 but I said, oh, she gets me all over the country. She makes sure that, that me and my wife fly here and there and there and there. But there's a money issue. Something ain't right then. The trust factor's broken. Mm. Are you following what I'm saying? Are we hearing this here? Yes. Let me throw this out while we're in it. I'm not talking about money. I'm just talking. Ain't, ain't, we ain't taking off. I'm just talking. You drink some tea. <laughs> y'all okay? Y'all, y'all, y'all? Y'all yes. yes. right? Okay. I know I'm different. I know I'm, no, I'm different. I know some of y'all say, like God told me, he said, you look like the priest. I said, how they look? Is there a new trend? How they look? Do, do you know the recipe for a practice? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I came from the hood. I came from the streets. I was in the club. You know, I mean, I'm just being real. I mean, I'm, I'm straight from the club. I don't, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, I, I mean, I'm just being real. That's where I come from. So I don't know nothing about all that other, whatever, whatever. I know nothing about that. All I say, he said, go. I've been going, he ain't stopped me. He said that with the fire, I've been putting them out. <laughs> so, yeah. Hello. So, yeah. Wow. You, you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, what can I say? Um, okay. So, what, 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 stop it? Okay. Your appetite changes if you elevate. Your appetite changes as you elevate. Your appetite changes as you elevate. Anybody agree or disagree? Mm -hmm. huh? Don't your appetite change at your maturity? Mm -hmm. huh? can, I, can I tell you something else too? Depending on how distant the friend is, they'll change too. <laughs> you have a, a different appetite for somebody else to be in your life too. Come on now. Huh? Because what, what supported, watch this here. What supported your fantasy may not support your reality. Come on now. You can get that one tomorrow. Because mm -hmm. someone's been living fantasies. And you got fear free to accommodate your fantasy. <laughs> they have nothing to do with your destiny. Yeah, oh my God. Well, I've been knowing them 40 years. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why you are where you are. Let, let, let's let's let you bubble here right quick. <laughs> You were told by Granny for Granny Pants that that, that that joker wasn't no good. And you still kept him in your life. Say. Come on, man. And then you went, and then you caught up carrying around a new group of people, and then they, they felt the same way as Granny felt. Mm -hmm. My Lord, who is that? You said go to more. Mark 8, but you never went there. I know it. Yeah. If you can take this, you can take Mark 8. Let's go to Mark 8. Y'all all right? Am I talking about that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you can't use the mail, just take it just bring back say, I didn't get nothing out of that. And then life will say, come here, follow me. Let me, let me take you on a week's journey. Mm. Uh, let, 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 let life give you a definition of what I just said. Right. Oh, you don't want to deal with life. Mm. Now, you can hear it now. Life will teach you. Oh, I learned. Some things I learned from my parents and some things life taught me. So excuse me. And I was trying to get back to mom and dad, but mom said, I oh, don't close now. Mm -hmm. That life Hello. teach you. Stay out there. Life <laughs> teach you. Can I get it? No? Nope. 
I mean, my granny used to say, in her lifetime, she used to say, you know, now, now you, you, your granny done told you something, and you're upset. And, and I don't know about y'all, but, but we used to slam those. We, when we could get away with it. Mm -hmm. you, you, if you slam you, you better hold mama didn't hear it. <laughs> Sometimes you were threatening to slam it anyway, and you were going to do granny say, don't slam the door, grandson, because it may jam on you. On the other side, that means you may not get back in. Yeah. yeah. And you know what that meant. Now, do you, before you slam that door, do you have all the money you need? Yeah. You have to look out there and see, see this granny. Do you see all the any food out there? Yeah. Do you have all the money? Clothing? Do you? And I want the clothes back on your back. Need the minute. If you slam it, take all that off and, and go ahead. Right. That's how granny was. But I don't want nothing of mine out there. And you thought about that. <laughs> yeah. And you went back to the room. You said, "Cause you talk about it, huh?" Yeah. It, 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 anybody get the picture? Yeah. See, you ain't that. But see, that's emotional yeah. stuff. That's emotional stuff. Yeah. Sometimes correction. When well, you don't want correction, you go emotional yeah. instead of going spiritual. Yeah. Ooh. Words don't come to kill you; they come to guide you. Yeah. Into another direction. Come on now. And they're not supposed to feel good to you. Huh? Because if you keep hearing that, you're going to keep doing that. Hello, mm. come on now. Mm. It's that that's kicking your butt. That, that, that is kicking your butt. <laughs> and so the problem could have been corrected 10 years ago, but you refuse to hear it. So God came on your job. Oh, I'm talking, I'm already putting your picture. I'm already preaching. So God came on your job through your supervisor, tried to correct you. You didn't understand that and got fired. End up in court. That didn't teach you. See, somewhere you're going to hear God and change. Hello. Okay. All right. Let's go to Mark 8. Y'all been blessed. Amen. 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 Y'all been blessed? Y'all sure? Yes. How many know God got an expected end for you? He got a hope in the future for you. Amen. God has a hope in the, yes. he has a hope in the future for you. Yes. See, even when you give up on yourself, God hasn't get, given up on you. But sometimes we forget. I mean, everyone, everyone in here, if you be honest, God, God didn't gave you a miracle. Amen. If, it, if it wasn't nothing but just to wake you up this morning, what was the greatest thing? It, it, and gave you another chance with all our stupidity, he gave us another chance. With, with all the crazy stuff we done done, he woke you up again and gave you a fresh start. And say, here's a blank check. Now write the vision. What you gonna do different? We ain't worried about all this that you done, what you gonna do? Hello. See, as long as you're waking up, that means it's not over. Right. It must have been that bad he woke you up. Right. Yeah. Not to experience the same thing, but to make a decision. Yeah. Come on yeah. now. God, yeah. There's a life changing. Life is changed in a decision. Yes. Are we hearing this? Yes. Life yes. is changed in a decision. Yes. Glory to God. Huh? Watch this here. Why come when the doctor tell us something, we set our whole belief to that to that thing, and you don't know nothing about what they're talking about, even the, even the thing that they said you got in your body, you don't even know and can't even tell them even talk about that, but you just send your whole belief system to what they said, mm -hmm. and then now you start living from what they said. Mm -hmm. now, now what about God? What about when God about speak, wants to send your energy mm -hmm. to all knowing, oh, yeah. all power, yeah. all authority? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Let me say something. Man cannot clock your days. What I'm just saying. Man, Man, Man cannot clock, clock your, days. your days. Man can't hold you to your past. That's why it's called your past, because you passed it. Mm -hmm. It is my past. I passed it. I'm beyond where I was. Mm -hmm. Anybody hearing this? Absolutely. Yes, sir. It is your past. It's nothing to talk about. Come on. Would you agree? Yeah. 
Do anybody have an enough pastor that you want to sit and just talk about? Nobody want to talk about what they did wrong. You think a drunk want to hear you talk about he was drunk last night? You want to hear that? Man that was high, he don't want to hear you talking about he was high last He know he was high. He don't want to talk about that. What's the resolve? What's the answer? Are we getting this? Let's read something. Now, let, 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 let's just see what God takes us from here. Let's read this here. We're going to see what God too many girls. Let, let's see what we can pull out of this here. Okay, let's listen to this here. You're on Mark 8? Yes. In those days, the crowd, being very great with nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them, I have compassion on the crowd, because they have now been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away fasting to their own houses, they will faint on the way. For some of them have come from afar. His disciples answered, where can one get bread to, to feed these men here in the wilderness? Hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even the stipend is wondering, how are you going to pull this one out? <laughs> they been with you, you know what I mean? See, you know, God would, see, you can never lock God in. I, I don't care, being a student of the word, he will blow your mind. Say, yes, this, yes, yes. this, this wasn't yes. the crowd talking. This was the twelve. Yes. I mean, I can imagine Peter and John. Jesus in front of us. He know we ain't no stores out here. Ain't no Kroger's. Ain't no Tom Thumbs. Ain't none of them out here. We in a desert place. And the people are hungry. So they, in their mind, what is he going to do? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the message is today is, Faith that have no limits. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Father. Glory. I want that to simmer. I want somebody. I want. I want. I want that to simmer for a minute. Faith that has no limits. Faith that has no limits. I want that to simmer. I want that to simmer a little bit. I want that to un un unlock something right quick. Because see, you 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 locked in on situation while Revelation trying to talk. See, Revelation is the master key that would unlock your situation in spite of the resistance. Exactly. Is anybody, hearing, is anybody hearing this? Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Anybody ever find themselves in a place that they didn't want to be in, but they're in the place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? Anybody ever want to get out, but look like when you try to get out, you can't get out? Mm -hmm. When you say you wasn't going to do it, you did it again. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, okay. Anybody, anybody ever been there? Anybody ever said you wasn't going to get mad enough, but you got mad again? Said you wasn't going to cuss, but you cussed again? Said uh -huh. you wasn't going to, but you did it again? Uh -huh. Yes. huh? Come, come on, wrong with something. Call said this. When I desire to do good, evil with brother. That that I didn't want to do, that that I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let me run that back again, because y'all too holy for that. You done fast and pray, and on your fast, you have to fool. On your fast, you missed it. Come on, yay! Huh? Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Come on, I'm wrong with you. It's in your word. It's in, you ain't got to believe in this church that you want to. You ain't got to, you ain't got to commit in some kind of way. Say. <laughs> you can just read the word. Paul in Romans 7 said, when I desire to do good, evil was brother. That that I didn't want to do, that that I did. Uh -huh. Who shall deliver me from this body of sin? Come on, oh, God. wretched man that I am. Yeah, confess that. You have to confess that. This was Paul preaching. He was Come a teacher. He was a master teacher. Uh -huh. The thing that I didn't want to do, I did again. Come on here. When I didn't want to die, my doc showed up again. When I, when I step one step back, I went forward. Step forward, I went forward back. Nobody know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I thought this was it, but it wasn't it. Hello. Huh? Come I, I, on. I thought this was the way, but it wasn't the way. Yeah. I left yeah. this person in my life because I thought it was God, but it was a demon. Mm -hmm. Say. God help my faith. Huh? Hallelujah. Help my unbelief. Yes. Come on here, Matthew. Come yes. on, Matthew. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You ever been there? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Sometimes God got to change your address. He got to relocate you. He got to take off your high horse. Is anybody hearing 
Y'all okay? Yes, I'm trying to get you ready for it. I'm going to try, try to jam you some stuff. They're going to provoke your next 10 years. Because I promise you, you won't go back. Amen. I promise you, what will kick your butt 10 years ago. Yes. won't kick it in this year. I promise what, what, what tried over you. Yeah, last year, we'll try with this. We'll try with this year. Yes. Let me tell you something. Ooh, so they're the spirit of assassin now. They want to take out believers. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But it won't be so. Hey, come on, people walking the earth and, and people <laughs> unspent for time with God and take another flower. He ain't taking no flowers. Come on now. He don't want a flower. Say. He ain't taking no flower. Good black men lying on God. He ain't took no flowers. <laughs> I get so sick of hearing that. No, they died because they didn't take care of themselves. Come on, now. Don't, don't blame that on God. I just like God just a murder. I mean, why would I take myself to be on this throw this time? Man, if you don't sit down with all that, you done drove up the street backwards on 635 in reverse, and he told me God took his life. No! Say, come on now. Mother, would that be God or somebody foolish? In reverse on 635, you know, well, God sent him to take him home. No. He he didn't follow instructions. Say, That's what that was. Not follow instructions killed him. Okay. Oh, y'all don't like that thing. You won't like that one. Uh, huh? That's the truth in the house. Huh? Come on here. Jesus helped us today. But you up here, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you what God told me this morning. He said, I'm redeeming years. God said, I redeem the years. You better hear what I'm saying. Let me say it again. God said, I redeem the years. Even if you didn't take care of your body, if he, even if you did the fool the last 10 years, if you did the fool when you was in your 20s, if you married someone and did the fool, if you had a boyfriend, girlfriend, and did the fool, I heard God warm me up this morning. He said, I'm restoring you. <laughs> y'all walked in, you was a sign. Mm -hmm. Because you, you are the mouthpiece. Yes. Come on now. It's, it's the younger generations. Come on here. It's, it's that generation X and millennials. And 
and, and it's that generation that that, that voice is gonna come upon. Yes, sir. Come on, and you'll speak of greater things of God. Yes. I ain't talking about in the religious way. I ain't talking about. I'm talking about kingdom stuff. Yes, sir. Anybody hearing this? Mm -hmm. yes, come on, Jesus. come on. I'm talking about platforms being used for the glory of God. Yes, Hallelujah. Anybody yes, hearing this here? Amen. Come on here. Manifest. Church won't be as normal. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It won't be as normal. Yes. Come on here. Is anybody hearing this here? Yes, sir. I feel the anointing God. He says here in verse 3, Mark 8 and 3, Hallelujah. if I send them away fasting to their own house, they will faint on the way. For some of them have come from afar. His assignment answer, where can one get bread to feed these men who are here in a wilderness? He asked them, how many loaves do you have? See, God would always inquire of, of what you got. He not only inquires what you don't have, he inquires what you got. Right. See, how many loads do you have? Come on now. Increase, more, more increase always start with what you have. Hello. What you're working with. You mind hearing this here? Watch this here, watch this here. How many loads do you have? And they said seven. Someone said they said seven. They said seven is the number of completion. They said seven. He commanded the people to sit down on the ground, taking the seven loads and giving thanks. He broke them and gave them to the disciples to serve. He took what they had and gave it thanks. <laughs> Did anybody, do anybody see a principle in that part? Move on. He took what he had, they had, broke it and gave it thanks. Huh? See, the first thing God's going to do is break you where you are. Yes. Yes. Ooh. yes. Then lift you up as an offering unto thanksgiving. Hello. Is anybody hearing this issue? Yes, sir. Huh? He breaks you where you are. Hmm? And, then, and, then, and then he gives thanks over that that he's broken. Come on now. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. He commanded the people to sit down on the ground, taking the seven loaves and giving, taking the seven loaves and giving thanks. So the increase is in the thankfulness. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank if you want more, you gotta be thankful for what you got. Yeah. That's right. If you're driving the hoopy, you know that old car, thank you for it. Yes. And be vision of the Rolls Royce or whatever you want to drive. <laughs> you, you follow what I'm saying? Amen. In the midst of what don't look right, give him thanks. Now watch this here, watch this here. I'm just putting my fillers out right now. And he commanded he command the people to sit down on the ground, take them to seven loads and give them things. He brought them and gave them to the disciples to serve. And they served the crowd. So I'm saying, they served the crowd. And they had a few small fish and blessing them, he commanded that these also be served, served them. So they ate and they were filled. And they collected seven baskets of broken pieces that were left. There were about 4,000 who had eaten. Someone say from seven. From seven loaves. From seven loaves. Let me tell you something. Let me share this notice to you. What all you think you're going to need in this season, you ain't going to even need all that. Sometimes it looks like we need a lot when God ain't in it. But when God stepped in it, it you don't even need that much. Just simple, simple obedience. Watch this here, watch this here. There was about 4,000 who had eaten and, and sent them, and, and he sent them away. Immediately entered a boat with his disciples and came to the region. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this. Down. Dalamutha. Dalamutha. Nutha? Yeah. Okay. Read number 11. Huh? Read, read 11 for me. Read uh, more. Mark 8, 11. And the Pharisees came forth and began to question with him, saying, seeking of him a sign from heaven, tempting him. He shot deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation look for a sign? Truly I say to you, no sign should be given to this generation. Then he left them and entered the boat again, and depart to the other side. Don't say depart to the other side. Depart to the other side. Now read 14, honey. 
Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, neither had they in the ship with them more than one loaf. Okay, now I'm, I'm, we gonna we go in on, we gonna read this. We we get ready to enter to another thought pattern. To so enter another thought pattern here. So it says here, it says, now the disciples had forgotten to take bread and did not have did not have more than one loaf with with them in the boat. Now notice God is moving from shortages. He's moving from, from the things that's lacking. Mm -hmm. Do we understand that? Yes. Somebody say lack is lack. lack is My lack. lack may be different from your lack, but lack is lack. lack, is lack. To have or to what? Have not. Okay? So now watch this here. Chapter 8. Now the disciples uh, uh, had forgotten to take bread and did not have more than one loaf with them, to, to, with them in the boat. He warned them, take heed. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisee and the yeast of, of Herod. They, they reason among themselves, saying, it is because we have no bread. Some say provision. 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 Being aware of it, Jesus said to them, why do you reason that you have no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? He's questioning them. Are your hearts still hardened? Having eyes and having eyes and do not see. Would you pay attention to that? Having eyes and do not see. Mm -hmm. Having ears and and do not hear. But before we move a little further, let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, having eyes and do not what? See. 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 Having ears and do not hear. Do you know you make decisions on what you see? Yes, sir. Do you know how important your eyesight is? Do you know you can have 20 20 uh, vision in the physical and have spiritual cataracts in the spirit? Come on now. Do you know you, you can see real good? Come on here. 20 20 and can't see a thing in the scram of the spirit? Do you know you can, you can, you can, it, when you blind in the spirit, all you're going to see is situations, Kimberly? And problem, and so all your decision is based off of what you see naturally. Mm -hmm. You say important is to see by the Bible says we walk by faith or we live by faith and not by, by sight. sight. Come on now. It's just certain things that you're not supposed to even be looking at. Yeah. Amen. You remember, remember over in Luke, is it Luke eight or Luke eighteen? When when Jesus told the disciples, he said, "Let us go on the other side of the lake." And the Bible said immediately, someone found it. Find it, Sister Joan. Find it funny. I think it's Luke 8 or Luke 18, which said, let us go on the other side of the, uh, of the lake. I think it's 18. He said, let us go on the other side of the lake. And he said, the Bible said, as they begin to move forward, their lives became in, in jeopardy. I wonder whose thought pattern was that, that their life became in jeopardy. Did they create that? Did, did, they, did, did the disciples say that? Uh, Anybody ever wonder that? Okay, he, anybody find that yet? It's Luke, Luke 8, 18. Somebody, come on now. I think it's Luke 8, or is it Luke 18? It's Luke 18? Let me find it right quick. Is it Luke 8, 18? Huh? 8, 18? No, it may be, it may be, let me, let me find it here. Let me, let me find it here. Luke, uh, let me see, I, I may, let me, let me see, can I find it? I want to read it. Luke, uh, look, I'm in King James, oh, well, I'm in, well, uh, the one where Jesus is getting ready to take him to the other side. I want to actually read it because it's, it's just some good reading. I can tell the story, but I want to actually read the story because it has a lot of meat in it when you when you read it. Uh, let's see here. Are you talking about when he um, it might have been eight. I think it's Luke eight because I'm seeing down here where it's saying um Good. Good. So now it came to pass. Say it again. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went to the ship with his disciples. Okay, what, what number is that? Luke what? Uh that's Luke eight and I'm at twenty two. Okay, okay, let me go there. Luke eight twenty. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you, appreciate that. Luke eight twenty two. Let me go here right quick. Let me go, let me go, let me go there right quick. Luke twenty two. Luke 822? Am I in 8? Oh, I'm in 9. I'm sorry. Okay. My bad. Okay. Y'all just hold on now out there in, in, in uh, TV land or media land. 
822. Let me see. 822. Just writing small in the Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, appreciate it, woman of God. There we go. Let's look at this right quick. Let me show you something. Let me read this thought pattern here. It said, One day he went into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, Let us go over on the other side of the lake. Now, watch it. That's a direct. He said, Let us. Notice he said, Let us. He said, Let them. He said, Let us. Because remember, I always tell you, God will never see you the work where he becomes unnecessary. Mm -hmm. He will never see you the work where he's not going with you or with being. Okay? So he says here, Sister Kimlin, <clears throat> let us go on the other side of the lake. So they launched out. As they sailed, he, <clears throat> he fell asleep. Then the wind and storm came down on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in danger. Can okay, you see that? Now, <clears throat> now watch this here. That was their perception. Because he didn't say anything about their life being in, in danger. Matter of, fact, matter of fact, Jesus went down at the bottom of, of the boat and went to sleep. Some kind of way, they felt that their life was in jeopardy. That's perception. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. now, 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 they had a choice even to, to come to a rest. God said, we go to the other side, even though he don't tell them what they're about to encounter. But the mere fact, God said, let us, see what I'm like at, he said, let us go over on the other side. That, that to me, we're going to make it. Yeah. Now, if God had told you we're shifting gears, he told you we're going to the other side of life, but no matter what comes in the middle, it doesn't matter. Because he's declared a word. Listen to this here. So let's listen. As they sell, he fell asleep. Came into a rest. Then the wind and storm came down on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in danger. They came to him. They came to the word. Come on. The disciples came to the word. And a woke him saying, Master, Master, we perish. Was that the statement? Was that the commandment? No. Was that the word? No. See, number one, they came, they didn't, they came to the word and not quoting the word. Hello. See, uh, yeah. They can't be able to quote the word. You follow me? I'm going to go and pray. So you go to pray with your own mind. And so now, now you complain. You ain't praying. You complain. Man. You, you, you come to the word with something the word ain't saying. Say, come on now. Now, I can understand this, Sister Kimmy. If you're coming out, you're waking up. Hey, word, we go to the other side. Hey, Jesus, we go to the other side. But still, you tell the word something that the word didn't even say. The word never said we was perishing. The word didn't tell you you was going to get wiped out. The word didn't tell you you wasn't going to make it. The word didn't tell you you was going to die. Mm -hmm. Do you see how we can build thoughts and create an illusion mm -hmm. that ain't even there? Hello. I'm trying to bring it in 2020. Come on now. Come on now. Some of you already know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So you went to the mailbox and you got something out the mailbox. You was excited when you went to the, to the mailbox. And now you're weird because you read something. In red. Come on. They gave you a date on it. They done knock you total out of faith. You <laughs> just shot Monday, Sunday. Now Monday when you went to the mailbox. Come on. Because Sears said something to you. Now you're feeling a certain way. Oh, the Margaret's company said something. Now you're feeling a certain way. Like, oh, yeah, this here. Mm -hmm. Listen, 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 listen. listen. So they lunched out as they sailed, they, he fell asleep. Then the windstorm came down on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in danger. They came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. First of all, that's conflicting information to me. Because you call him the Master, but you tell the Master, we perish. You see how we can just get to saying stuff that don't even add up? You call him Master, but you tell the Master, we perish. He the one gave the commandment and said you was going over. You say you become double minded? Is anybody hearing this here? Mm -hmm. Listen. Then he, then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the waters. He spoke to the thing that was trying to kill them. He's every minute y'all could have did the same thing. Mm -hmm. The same thing I spoke you could have did. Say. I've given you the words. Come on. Huh? I've given you delegated authority. I've given you power. Why come you didn't speak to it? Say. Well, you came in proud. You could have just stood and spoke to you. Go and pray with that. I've given you divine authority. Come on now. Why are you in here with me with that? Why don't 
you change the atmosphere, why don't you change the culture? Come up with a prophetic word. Come on. Why don't you speak to the very thing that's trying to drown you? Why don't you drown it? Come on. Okay, watch it, boys. Are y'all hearing this? Who am I talking to? Amen. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raising of the water, and they ceased. He said, and they obeyed. And they obeyed. They obeyed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do we see that? And they obeyed. Hey, now, here's the question. Have you spoke to that that's been speaking to you? Come on. Have you spoke to that that's been trying to kill you? Come Have you spoke to that that's trying to been destroying you? Come Have you spoke on. to the illness? Have you spoke to the situation? Thank Have you, you spoke to the problem? Have you spoke to that thing in your body? Have you said, I'm going to live and not die and declare the works of the God? Have you spoke to your mind and said, you will not be depressed? You Come will on. not be busy? Yeah. Have you Amen. spoke to it? Yes, yes. Yes. Come on, young folks. This young never have you spoke to. Mm -hmm. Have you spoke to it? Mm -hmm. Listen to this. And they see them there was to come. And he said to them, Where is your faith? Come on, it's a question. Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? You know, don't tell me your faith is at. Where you last believed. You parked it where you last believed. Do, do you know, do you know you go from faith to faith? Uh-huh. Hmm? Do you know the faith that got you that? It may take another faith to get that. Hello. How do you say faith come? How faith come? By hearing. By hearing and what? And hearing. Mm -hmm. Say never heard. Never heard. Faith don't come by, by hearing what you heard. Come on. Oh, oh. This ain't the street. This the kingdom. Come on now. Say oh, oh, go, oh, 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 gangster gospel. You preach Come on now. Oh, gangster hood gospel. You preach it. I heard. You, you heard. Well, and you heard. Say. What? Say. This the kingdom. It's president. Come on now. A subject ain't gonna move off nothing they heard. It gotta be something said for a subject to move in the kingdom. Come on now. Huh? What are you hearing? Hello. What are you hearing that's gonna cause you to continue? What are you hearing that's gonna stop stop you from stopping? Come on now. Stop you from quitting. What are you hearing that's gonna make you get up again and leave? Come on huh? now. Let me say this to you. Let me give you a prophetic word that I'm hearing in the spirit. The brokest you ever be is what you are now. Hello. Amen. Let me say that again. Yes. I want to say it. I want to say it to you. Hear it. The broke. Take a good look at your bank account now. Hello. Google it on your phone. Whatever you do yes, when you get home, and I want you to write the balance down. That's the brokers you will ever be. And, and, and whatever you hear from the doctors, you know, come on, life get better. You will never be bad again. Hello. That'll never be not dosed again in your body. Do you hear me? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I heard God say, the enemy will not steal what I'm using. The enemy will not steal your life because I have need of you. Untie the ass and bring them to me. Yeah. Hello. Huh? I hear you. You know, y'all remember that ass in the Bible? Y'all remember when Jesus coming to Jerusalem? He brought in on a, on a new ass. Uh -huh. And that ass had been tied up and he gave and he gets some order. Bring me the ass. Say. See, God, sometimes you think the devil got you tied up on the sideline. It's God got you tied, preserving you. Amen. For his end. <laughs> Till the point of time. Then it's unlock that ass. Uh -huh. Unlock that unknown one. I like that one most likely not to succeed. I like that outcast. Go get that outcast. Go get that. Bring me the reject. I'm going to set my anointing up on her back. Give me the one that they said was giving me the exit. Bring it to me. Maybe you went on a bitch and and somebody going to tell you, who are you waiting on? Oh, they, oh she, they're throwing a party over here. You ain't hearing nothing. You missed that. I told you about, 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 about my experience in Chicago. Hello. I mean, I'm sitting up, I'm sitting up there and people was at my funeral. There was a casket there, 
and, 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 and it's supposed to be my funeral. I mean, it was jam packed and, and everything, and, and all these people was there, and, 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 and I'm at the back, just kidding. And I'm looking at, I said, well, if this is my funeral, where, where am I at? <laughs> it was empty. Some say it was empty. It was empty. Yeah. And you know what God took me? The ones that came to watch, they were dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ain't hear nothing I say. Come on in. Maybe you better watch it. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. You do better not to say nothing about nothing of God's. Come on now. You, you, you can't touch what God's blessing. Amen. Are you following? Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yes. Mm. So he said, the world stop at what's happening? Then we're going to move on. What time we got? What time we got? 12 19. 12 19. We got plenty of time. We've been in trouble longer than that. <laughs> We've been in trouble longer than 9, 9, 12, 19. <laughs> Come on here. Huh? How many have been in trouble longer than an hour? Hello. <laughs> uh, so I've been in trouble. <laughs> thought you will never come out of that situation. Let me tell you something. If you keep hearing this here, let me tell you something. God will do some stuff. Mm -hmm. God will do some stuff. And the place where you've been dishonored, that's the place God will give you honor in. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? The place you get wiped out in, God will have you to try out. Right in, right in that place. My God today. Uh, okay, let's go to, uh, what did I give y'all before I give y'all Mark 8? Anybody remember? I said that's all you gave me, Mark 8. Give you Mark 8? Okay. And uh, uh, let's see here. Now let's go to... Uh, Let's go to. Oh, we was dealing with that. Let's go over to. Um, go to Second Kings. We was talking about. We was talking about the eyes, right? Mm -hmm. I mentioned. I mentioned, mentioned to you about the eyes. I mentioned to you about hearing. And this will work. And then, then we move into scripture. And then we get this prophetic voice. Some say you got to know the voice of God. Yeah, this is how you grow. You know the voice of God, but you also got to know scripture. You got to know word. Hello. You got to know word, but you got to know his voice too. Amen. Now, 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 let me show you something prophetic. Let me show you. Knowing his voice, but you still got to know the word. Now, what do you mean by the voice? Let me show you by the voice. Show you by the voice. The voice could be this. Turn left. That is not in scripture. So when I say that, that's why I'm following up with what I'm saying. You got you got to be in tune. But but still, you still know you, you learn the word by spending time in the word. Yeah. The more you, you know the word, the more, the more you spend time with something, the more you're gonna know it. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know something else, you just go to something else and you start learning that. Mm -hmm. But you do have to be certain of the voice. The voice may say, Don't 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 put that t-shirt on today. Mm -hmm. Don't wear no suit today. Mm -hmm. Wear this today. Mm -hmm. So that's the voice. The voice may say, Don't go home at 635, go around the other way. Mm -hmm. You, you know what I like? Let me say this. You know what I like about the, the navigation system? It matters about the Holy Ghost. And my car can be driving, and, 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 and I'm riding a certain way, and then it also tell me, and going that way, it'll say, um, exit here, there is, um, there's a traffic jam, jam ahead. I said, man, that's like the Holy Spirit to give you warning. <laughs> Don't go here tonight, it's going to be trouble. Mm -hmm. Don't call her, she's negative today. Say. Any better of a rope the Holy Spirit got in trouble? Yeah. Trying to do a good thing? Because you knew something. The worst thing you do is know somebody because you know them. And, uh -huh. and being common, you go ahead and do it uh -huh. and run into a jail. Yes, sir. I mean, one time I got, I called somebody, wasn't supposed to call them, and got jacked up in the head. I'm just confused as I wanted to be when I got on the phone. So I, I, didn't, I said, I'm just dis probably discombobulated. <laughs> you, ever, you ever been in a conversation with somebody, you don't know where the conversation was going? Mm hmm. It was going, but it wasn't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what take you to go? Uh, say, right say it again, honey. That's a good point to understand good. that you have to, your confidence, shut up, shut up, your confidence has to come become more in spirituality than humanism. Ah, uh, that's good, that's good. Humanism Talk can that. look right. Mm -hmm. It can look and to appear to be right, but right. spirituality is truth. Right. The spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. That's mean this is directly of God. 
you know, it may look right for me to just stop, you know, or it may look right for me to mm -hmm. stop at a red light. Right, right. But if God is giving me something, then you need to stop at red light because he's not going to never judge you into take you into danger like this here. And this, he sure is going to work a miracle. Listen, you got to be able to not trust what you naturally see with your eyes over what you're hearing spiritually from God. That's why you have to spend time in the Word. That's why you have to spend time with the Father, Holy Spirit, so you can get acquainted, acquainted with Him, mm -hmm. acquainted with His voice, acquainted with His understanding. Like the Bible says, the children of Israel, they only knew the hand. And some people, they don't know nothing about God until He bless them. Mm -hmm. And then they waiting again. They don't go stay to see face. God no more, hear from God no more, to another That's time the hand. or a You're seeking the hand. You're just seeking the provision. You're not, You're not the trying face. to get no relationship. That's in the face. You just want what he has. Mm -hmm. But you don't want him. Mm -hmm. See, you, so, <laughs> you can want my money, don't care nothing about me. Right. See what I'm wow. saying? You got you can't do that with God. It's illegal in the spirit realm. You need a relationship with the creator. You need a creation uh, relationship with the author of the word. Don't just know laws and don't know the author. Because when he starts to speaking to you, like in the old testament, it was all about written laws. In the New Testament, he came in mercifulness and grace. And he got in the spirit realm. Come on here. And you just can't start Memorize words just by your natural mind. You got to hear a spirit talking to you and dealing with you. It'll be built off the foundation, but you got to let him lead you. Hold That's going to come with trust. Yeah. That's what your faith is about. Mm -hmm. Trust in God. You Confidence ask people today, who is Jesus? They can't even tell you. He's the word. He is the word. God is his word. Come on here. The spirit is God. God is his word. Yeah. Listen here. And then he puts that on the inside of you. He puts the impartation in you when you let it in. Come on, somebody say, let it in. Yeah. Let, it in. Yeah. Gotta let it in. He can tell you don't marry somebody. You sitting up there because you think they cute. Come on you now. You think they, you know, they mama rich. <laughs> and you just going to marry them anyway. It's a... So, no, he seemed far greater than you. That probably be a person want to control the crap out of you. Ain't going to be nothing fun about somebody controlling you. Come on. You got to do everything they say, whether you like it or not. You can't think for yourself. That's bondage. Say, you say bondage? Bondage. 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 Your money. <laughs> you all your clothes. All your shop outfits. Bye. Say. You know what I'm saying? So, he don't want us in bondage. He want us to be free. He want us to know him. He want us to do things his way. That we can what? Maximize life. Because life happens every day. Every day. You're not at church just to learn church. You are in church to learn the lifestyle of God. That you can rule. I mean, have rulership reign. And Come be on. the head. And ain't you tired of being on the bottom? Quit being on the bottom. And learn how to rise over stuff. That means what? It happening, but it ain't got me controlled. Say. I ain't in bondage to it. Yeah, I went through it, but I ain't bound by it, baby. You see what I'm saying? Come on here. Don't let circumstances bind you up and got you fearful and you can't move and you can't enjoy life. That's too much control. Yeah. You don't keep sitting up thinking about what somebody did to you. You giving them too much control over you. Baby, you gotta live. Jack that. Let that go and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Come on. The love of God will flow in you and it'll, it'll break down Hitler. Come on now. Ooh, love is powerful. That's why I don't, that's why Humanism don't ever want you to experience it because you're going to become powerful from another realm. Come on, girl. And you really will win so. I mean, Say. win them. Come on, here, reach your presence. And yeah. lose them, and that's what we should do, right? Amen. And going to the other side, that means it comes a time you may be learning to fish, but after a while, you got to get up and become the fisherman, baby. Come on, Get on the other side of this thing. I done taught y'all to fish, now get up and fish. The other side of me. We keep coming to church and watch a miracle. Now you get up and be a miracle. It's time to be a miracle. Come on, be a miracle. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta be it. Somebody say be it. Be it. You gotta be it. Not afraid to go up in and God'll lead you into place. And there's something when He leads you in it. If He lead you in it, that means it's a miracle going down. That means somebody getting ready to get blessed. Hello. 
So you want to get on the other side of the line. You want to always be the one trying to receive a blessing when you come to be a be blessing. A blessing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. So yes. I mean, get that. Yes. I don't want to wait. It's a shame I got to wait for a pastor or preacher to come to town. Now mm. get up. I am healed. Get off yeah, me. Get off me. I'm living. I got too much to do to be sick. Come on. And you got to maintain that mindset or you will be maintaining everything they say. I've seen a doctor just talking about it. I said, no, I'm not. Say. You're me crazy. <laughs> and I said, and you don't care about me. What if you say it because you don't? Because you're not telling me anything that's going to. Heal me. You're talking about treating me, which means you're going to keep on getting money off of me, and I still don't have an absolute promise from you. Do you understand? I know the healer. Come on, It now. ain't you, and I am healed, and don't you say that to me no more. Say. How about that? And I respect you. How about that? Bye. <laughs> Boom. Take your authority. Go to. Oh, y'all scared? Don't be scared. <laughs> Go to John. Go to John. <laughs> go to John. Go to John eight, and uh, you change by the truth, you know. You change by the truth, you know. We talking about change. You change by the truth, you know. By the information, you know. You won't. You won't. You won't be no greater than the information you know now. Come on now. You follow me? Come on. And um, to better your life, it's just things you gotta know. You know what I'm saying? God speaks through his word, but God speaks to, there's other sources God speaks to. You know? You're not running into scripture here when you go into the marketplace. Hello. But there's information you can use. You seen, it, you seen the scripture when you bought your house? Didn't show any scripture, did you? But it was things that I told you. And things I told you that certain things would be. It's information. The world is run off information. So we can't be just one-minded. Come on now. You follow what I'm saying? You know, you know the body of Christ is a member, many body. It's a many yes, membered body. body. Yes, it is. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so that means just because we got the Holy Spirit, that don't mean that the the other body parts of the body don't function. No, the Holy Spirit gets into the other parts. That realtor is a part of the body. You follow what I'm saying? Come that on, job, man. somebody that does part of the body. See, everything is not up in just a, a little setting. This is a this thing is kingdom. Amen. It's this kingdom. Somebody say kingdom believer. Kingdom believer. Uh, let's look at uh, John 8 chapter. And this is good stuff. Well, y'all get ready to live your best life. Yes. yes. You know, folks, yes. Man, y'all get, get ready to live your best yes. life. Mm -hmm. You get ready to live your best life. Come on here. And, and you know what? You think about it. You know, this is the, the kingdom of God is an equal opportunity. You, you ain't too young to be blessed, you ain't too old to be blessed. You ain't too young to change, you ain't too old to change. As long as you got breath in your body, you have a choice. Hello. Come on. How many ready to live for right choices? Hmm? Amen. Now listen to this here. We'll be through in a minute. Then Jesus said to the Jews, we, we in John 8, 31, and yours may read different. Who got King James? I do. Okay, you go, okay, um, I'm going to read mine, then, then you read, read see the girls read it. John, th John uh, 8, 31. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, if you remain in my word, then are you truly my disciple, if you remain in my word. In other words, don't let circumstance take you from the word. Amen. Don't let nothing change your opinion or, or your value. From the word, if you remain in my word, then are you uh, then are you truly my disciple? What's the disciple? A discipline. Thank you. Discipline. It takes discipline. Take discipline. Mm. To hold on to a word, it takes discipline. Yeah. If you remain in my word, you are truly my disciple. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall shake. You Amen. shall know the truth, and the truth you have intimacy with, the truth you label with, the truth you spend time with. You follow me? Mm -hmm. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set, and the truth shall set you free. So, so if truth can set you free, not knowing the truth can cause you to be what bound. Mm -hmm. You you may be feeling like that's it because you ain't heard nothing else. Mm -hmm. So now you're living from that. But you got to put yourself in position to know more. 
My wife tells me I was sitting at home and I, I still had some work to do in the office. She said, I'm going to go to this setting in Frisco. She said, they have this group called The Conversation. Uh, I think it was called that. Meaningful Conversation. Meaningful, mean, mean, what is it? Meaningful Conversation. Meaningful, meanfulness Conversation. She said, I'm going to go to this group. I said, what is the matter? She said, I don't know. But she said, I'm sure it's, let's see, let's go. So she went. And there was other minds that was there that were sharing their minds and sharing their truths. See, you gotta, when you wanna know, see, she said, there's something beyond here. He was talking to him that he said, there's something beyond here that, that we need to know. And so she said, in other words, I'm gonna set myself around this that I can know. Mm -hmm. See, if you wanna know something else, you gotta set yourself around something different. Mm -hmm. Certain kinds of people, huh? Right, stop, stop being so familiar. Sometimes you have to open up yourself to get to know new things. Come on, come on, come on. See what I'm saying? You can't keep doing the same old thing. You get the same results. So sometimes you're going to have to open up yourself to get to do new things. Sometimes if I want another audience, I have to open up to a whole new diverse of people to get another audience. I don't have to just be pastor of the black church. Come on, man. Open up. God loves everybody. Mm -hmm. He does. And if he's going to use you more, you got to open up. Hello. He want to expand himself in you. You can't be single-minded. I mean, I'm talking about just one-minded. Just that's all you don't open up to nothing else. You can't hear nothing new. You won't read another book. I read other books, but I'm established in truth. But I open myself up to knowledge and I establish the truth on it. You see, I can build off of it. But listen, you got to open up to learn some more things that you can go to a wider, have a greater experience. That's all Come I'm saying. On Baby, it's too much. God, something. You know, I went to a city for oh, a oh, and those people, they tripped me out. I said, God, just send me to hell. Hey, that's it. It's kind of stuff. That mindset was, excuse me, I love y'all anyway. Yeah, I'm out here now, swell. <laughs> so that mindset was so limited. Mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't even want to go out of Denton. I was tripping out. I was like, "You don't go to Dallas? You ever been to Louisville? You, you, you ever been? No, I'm a, I was like, what do y'all do? You just stay in this one little and that trips me out because that's scary. No. <laughs> you need to go somewhere. It's other places. <laughs> and then sometimes people just go to Denny's. You go to Applebee's. Can you go? Do you go? <laughs> oh, yeah. you Take yourself somewhere. Yeah. Put your raw yourself always at McDonald's. Baby, go yeah. to you a nice restaurant and sit down. Somebody say, yeah. well, I ain't got no money. Well, sometimes you're going to have to look like where you're going. Go in there and order you an appetizer. Mm -hmm. And just because you took your mindset somewhere, right. do you know the anointing will come and then it'll right. open up a whole new avenue for you. Mm -hmm. God done gave you favor with the owner. Come on, man. You come every money to eat. Or then you get your money to a, take your mind to another Jesus. set of money. Stop getting stuck with 60000 One girl told me, I'm going to give me a job, 60000 I said, girl, that's broke. I need that today. I mean, I'm saying it's something. All right, that's broke. She ain't like she's having a minute. Jeez. Somebody going to buy the check for that in a minute. Baby, do you understand? Open oh, up so God wants what he's God saying to us. Yes. Increase. The spirit of increase is in the land. Yes. yes. Increase yes. the truth in you so you can prosper. Yes. Money has to come oh. to a prosperous soul, yes. baby. Yes. Well, oh, y'all hearing me. Did you hear that? Yes. Did you, I just heard yes. something with proper saying. So increase come with information. Come on, man. Yes, yes. yes. Increase common information. Yes, See, okay, whatever you make it, okay, what, okay, let, let, let's do this right quick. Whatever you make it right now, whatever that may be, that came through information. Uh -huh. And so right now, you've been, how long you been, how long, anybody been on the job five years? Let me see, or better. Okay, well, see, that thought pattern of finance has been there five years. It's not going to change because they're not going to change it. If you waiting on your job to change your income, it ain't gonna change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, I promise you, you're not gonna make what the top make. I don't care how smart you are. Say. So if you want that thought pattern of income to change, it has to change with knowledge. Say. Your information got to change. You see what I'm saying? Thank you. Maybe. Well, you understand. I, I can only be a janitor. Well, 
So you and Tabitha want you own the place. That's where you start. You don't thought to own it. Now that's increased right there. So it's not, I, I, I know I know one guy who's, um, he's a janitor. He makes 500000 a year. A friend of mine makes 500000 he's what he do. But you know what he cleaned up? He cleans up post offices and wash trucks for the post office. But he makes half a million a year. Mm -hmm. Not a bad set for washing cars. You know, 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 you just because you got to need that, I don't mean you're going to get more money. You got to have a, a divine you know, idea or something other than I need to pay my bill. Now, 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 tomorrow, try going telling your superior or, or your supervisor or manager, whatever you call them, I need some more money because I need to pay my bill. That ain't no reason. Because me giving you more money, that don't mean you can do what I need. Same. Can you enhance my vision tomorrow? Can you take the vision to another level? See what I'm saying? Go ahead. Don't increase yourself. Increase. You Reinvent about, yourself. The more you learn about your true self, which is your God self, yes. you will prosper. Mm -hmm. You will prosper. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? God says things like save yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, heal yourself. Physicians, heal yourself. Come on, you got to get a spirit and get an understanding. What is he saying to me? Can we answer the question? Can we answer that question? What is, can I answer that question? Yes. So you're healing yourself from ignorance. Because uh -huh. what you don't know got you to a place of lack. Hello. Be it physical, spiritually, it's what you don't know. It's all in lack of information. If you knew to do the right thing, then you should be doing the right thing. I found out some things about my body. Oh, this happened because I was ignorant in that area. Now I know, so now I'm working on. It's never too late to know. Yes, yes. amen. Don't get proud because well, I, I, I'm this age now. It excuse me. I just keep on eating fried chicken. Don't matter now. I, 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 I gotta I, die from I, something. I, 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 I can't. No, I ain't gotta die from nothing. Hello. I ain't even think about death. It ain't on the menu. Death. Somebody say death is and ain't on the menu. Death is not even on the menu. And why? Amen. Because he told us Jesus got the keys of the death. Hell, hell and, and the, the grave. grave. Then he turned around and he gave it to us. Well, why do you want to die and be hellish and go to the grave? Say, I don't meditate on stuff you like that. Live your best life. I don't. I'm like maximizing my life now. Hello. See what I'm saying? I don't have time to think about that. You can think your way right out of here. Some and people he, grieve themselves out of here. Oh, they dead. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to die with them. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm Hello. Yeah. You're going to miss them. Yeah. But you can't let that consume you because you still got to fulfill your destiny. Yeah, you will miss them. But you, God will grace you to walk right through that. Come Amen. on. And you will get some wisdom and knowledge, child, to, you know, sustain, be here. Listen, be free. Then you can help others. Amen. Somebody say help somebody else. Hello. 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 Help you. Come on, say, as God help me. As God help me. Turn around and help somebody else. Turn around and help somebody else. Now watch this here. Watch this here. To that same note. Watch this here. Same note. How many about know we was born with a purpose, right? Yes. Everybody was born with a purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care how you got here. We ain't gonna get into all that because we got it different ways. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So, <laughs> some some of us came through a functional environment. Some dysfunctional. All kind of ways we got here, but the but, but the world is here. We here. We made it here. So now we all created with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So you created with a purpose. You created with an assignment. And there's things that accommodate those assignments. God ain't going to give you an assignment and not give you everything you need to fulfill the assignment. Hello. God knows the people. They're supposed to be a part of your assignment. God knows the place. Your assignment is supposed to go down in. I want someone to hear that. Mm -hmm. yes. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me say that again because I want somebody to get that. God knows the place. There is a place that your assignment is supposed to go down. There are people that are ordained. They got to meet you. Let me say that again. Do y'all understand that? Yes. Do you know there's people that yes. got to meet you? Yes. Their life will not go to the next level until they meet you. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. I, I remember one year, years ago, I told a guy one time, and, and he was kicking and fighting there. I said, let me tell you something. Your life won't be nothing until you receive me in it. Your life won't even make sense. Can you imagine? I, I give this example. Your life is like this. 
and they and they what? If the right people is not in your life, the sinners don't make sense. Hello. Wow. Did you get it? Wow. Huh? Y'all get, 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 yes. get what I'm saying? You get you know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm talking about? Yes. And Margot, okay, Margot what? Until the right people shows up, you don't make sense. Come on now. Are we getting there? I'm going to let this soak in. So you can't have anybody in your life because some people do not make sense in your life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why nobody can pick you up. That's right. Okay, who's dumbhead? He doesn't fit with you. He doesn't fit. He or she doesn't fit in your life. Amen. And, so, and that's why you never have no favor. Do you know what? It can be your season and you got unseasoned folks in your season. Wow. Mm, you get that one tomorrow. Huh? Do you you see that? It can be your season. I mean, man, it's your time. It's your season. God done said it. The doors are wide open and you walk in with Bubba Head. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> you walk in with Bubba Head and all the doors closed. The lights go off. <laughs> oh, I mean, you waiting for that big door. You waiting. I, man, I, I'm not trying to be comfortable. I'm serious. So you can't take everybody with you to greatness. Mm -hmm. You remember I told you one time? I said, boy, are you going to next? You can't take nobody going to the 7-Eleven with you. Huh? You going to cut into the hall. Come on here. And they go into the club on the corner. Wow. <laughs> they can't go with you. The wrong vibe. Yeah. yeah. Mm. They go, wait a minute. Who, who is this? Who's this with you? We can't, we can't, we can't be at this person to come. Do you, let me say this here. Do you know energy knows energy? Yes. yes. I just yes. said something. Yes. Do you know yes. energy knows oh, energy? Yeah. Yes. Do you know do, do you know people can pick up people? Yeah. You walk in the room, they smile, then somebody come behind you, what the hell is that? Say mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's real. I remember one time I checked somebody in my house. They walked in my house and then some something came back and tried to come back with her. Oh, wait a minute. Who are you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I'll tell you wrestling in your own house that you pay house on it. The devil is a lot. Right. You can't rest out of this spirit up in your house. No. No, I'm going to ask you out. Family, friend, whoever. Oh, if I got to get in the whole house, all lights going up. Ain't nobody resting at night. I don't care if you is visiting. If I'm up, you get your butt up. You ain't sleeping either. I pay bills here. Every light in the house going on. Huh? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Are y'all with me? Come on. I mean, your house should be the deal. It should be the ball. You follow what I'm saying? Huh? We, we I talking? just think that the, the value God, please value it. Because sometimes we're guilty of not valuing that. You must learn to protect the anointing in your life. You have to. Since he's given that to you, this valuable stuff. Come on here. It's way more worth than your money. Good, 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 good. Way more work. So you gotta value it. If you don't value anything, it's nothing. It's meaningless. But if I give value, if you give value to a friend, a certain friend, they have uh, earned something with you, loyalty, trust. Mm -hmm. Come on, mm -hmm. that means something. But if nothing is nothing, then what is it done for? Hello. So you can't walk around life just tiptoeing through the tulips like, you know, it's just going to be, going to be what it is. Now, it ain't going to be what it's going to be. It's going to be what I say it's going to be. Yeah. Hello. See what I'm saying? You do have that type of authority and control of your life. God want to give it back to you because life, life will strip you and run you away, have you naked. You just run away with no purpose, with no identity, with, and it's just flat foolish. And you have been given a gift of life. Do you understand that? That's mm -hmm. powerful. You cannot just keep going around acting like nothing. Nothing from that. I don't even sing stupid songs. Mm -hmm. No. Even stupid religious songs. I don't sing them either. Because it don't mean nothing. Don't so, sing that to me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? No, is it life? Mm -hmm. Is it true? Right, right, is right. It, it, can it transcend me? Yeah. Can, does it empower me? Hello. Come on, Come on Is it now. a blessing to me? Blessing means to empower. Yeah. If it's not, I don't want it. 
And this is how you got to be. Serious. Take your life seriously. And then he say, in all things, give thanks. I don't have to thank him for everything, but I got to learn how to thank him in it. Hello. In it. I'm going to thank you right through this. Cause I'm coming out. Come on, somebody say, I'm coming out. Right. Watch yourself. You learn you. Too many people worry about everybody. I don't even know. Come on, you are. How you gonna master what's outside of you? And you have a master within. Come on, now. Ain't nobody paying attention to you. Really? See. But when you master you, and you walk through the room, everybody knows it's something different about that person. Yeah. Here's the question. So that's what we are. Let, let me ask, let me ask you this question. Here's the question. How are you going to challenge yourself? Thank you. How are you going to challenge? This is the thought I want to leave. How are you going to challenge yourself for better? Have you thought about it? How are you going to challenge yourself? How are you going to challenge yourself? Mm -hmm. George, don't you think about that? How are you going to challenge yourself? Because the challenge is going to be everything that's being said. Still comes down to one thing, a decision you got to make. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Good sermon, good sermon, but good sermons don't change people. It's Come application yeah. that changes people. You can, you can have, you can have a, 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 a bunch of tapes and been to every conference in the land, every, every church service in, in Dallas or wherever you live at. But if you don't apply nothing, you got to make the change. You're not going to see. The truth is, we, you don't sit here every day. The right. truth is, right. it's when you walk out that door. Right. When you get in that car and get stuck in, and your mind get to racing. Yeah. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? How you, what are you going to do? Process. How are you going to process that? Yeah. How, wh what are you really hearing? What have you heard now that you're going to keep hearing? Mm -hmm. What have you heard that, you, that you're going to keep hearing? Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? They're going to cause you to change. Yes, yeah. yeah. See, it ain't gonna change because you're mad. You can get mad all you want to. Right. You can yeah. throw all the tantrums you want to. You can throw yourself across the room, not answer your phone, and cuss everybody out, and, and talk about I'm gonna be alone. I don't wanna be bothered. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna isolate. Yes. Because when you isolate, you desolate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? That alone stuff ain't good. Yes. I'm trying to, especially Amen. if God ain't got you there. Amen. You alone with Amen. no word. But no word, oh, oh, oh my God. Yeah. Boy, that enemy go, you pray for the doubt. He go, he go mess you up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They bring thoughts to you. Mm -hmm. Bring all kind of thoughts to you. Mm -hmm. so, so here's, so what are you saying, brother? This is what I'm saying. Out of everything that's being said, this is what I believe the Holy Ghost saying. It's simply this here. You have a decision to make. Uh -huh. I read in the book of Job, it said, multitudes, multitudes, yeah. in the, the valley, valley of decision. decision. For the day of the Lord is near. In the valley of the city. Let me say it again. Multitudes, multitudes. In the valley of the city. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of the city. Now, what does that mean? What does all that mean, prophet? It sounded good. What does it mean? Show it to me. If you want to find God, he's near the city. He's in a decision. Whenever I found God, he was in a decision. When you, what if you found salvation? In a decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Every time you need God, go for a decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huh? It may not be on TV. Come on in. It, but it's going to be in a decision. Mm -hmm. I never miss God when I find him in a decision. Mm -hmm. I'm telling someone right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Uh, 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 he's in a decision. God's in a decision. Come Your deliverance now. is in a decision. Your salvation was in a decision. Is, is, is anybody really hearing what I'm saying? It's yes. Absolutely. Yes. It's simply in a decision. No matter what's going on, it's in a decision. Are y'all getting young folks? It's simply in, it's, it's your decision. In a day, it's your decision. That's your decision. And God meets you at the point of your decision. And you know what? I'm just saying too. You can have as much God as you want, as little as you want. Come on now. Right. Now watch this here. Watch this here. Let me give you a 30-day guarantee back. Okay. Let me give you a 30-day guarantee. When we try Jesus for 30 days, let's give him 30 days. If you don't take Give him back. We give your old life back. <laughs> okay? I mean, how about that? I want to challenge those out there this, today. If you don't know the Lord as your president, let me give you 30 days with Jesus. <laughs> and if you don't like it, we give your old life back. Say. Are we getting this? Yes, sir. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's how you find it. I'm not finding it. Just try him 30, 30 days. Let's try him 30 days. Try, try him 30 days. No, try him. I want you to try him. Just try him. However you want to do it. He, you ain't going to miss it. He'll fit wherever you had in your life. He'll fit it. 
He fit right there. Right there. Said, hey, you know, I'm going to give it back, but I promise you, I try to make never look back. Come on now. My confession has been this, you'll never get me back. Because I find out when your back is against the wall, the only place you can step is forward. Yeah, yeah. You've been back into a corner, the only thing you can go is forward. Some of y'all right now, you're so far back, you can't go nothing but forward. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Just movement. Just movement. How many here in this here? Just move. Say, I can do this. Say, I can do this. Say, I can do this. Say, this is my year. This is my year. Decade, this is my decade to excel. To excel. Yeah. Hey, watch this here. You can you can't even have excellence without excelling. Come on now. You spell excel before Six. excellence. Right. <laughs> it all goes together. Ooh. When you excel, you enter the kingdom of excellence. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah. You get that? Anybody get that? Yeah. yeah. So it's my season. It's my season to excel, to excel. to greatness. To greatness. Hallelujah. And God has a great mind. Mm -hmm. And what do you think God woke you up to come here today? You mm -hmm. just think it just happened. Why? Mm -hmm. I asked the, I asked the. You get questions, answers to questions. What, what, what do you want to do today? It's something he wanted here for you today. Absolutely. What is it? And you got enough to take it, it and run with it. Take it and run with it. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has an anointing on this line. I looked at him when he came in. I'm checking him out. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell about these kings and these priests. Yes, sir. Amen. All this youth. Amen. Youth up in, up in the ministry. New faces. That kind of challenged you, so they kind of like, we don't know what the world, we don't know. You know what, you just stay unique. You don't be like everybody else. You be who you are. And you Amen. That's right. Well. your name. Because, because there is a prophetic anointing yes, it is. upon your life. I spot yes, you when you is. came in. Yes, it there's, is. A, there's a grandfather mm -hmm. in your bloodline, your father's father. And there was ministers in your in within your bloodline. And you already know that. There's been ministers in your bloodline. But there's an anointing on you, man of God. Before you are 26 years of age, I'm seeing the number two, I see the number six. Two is uh, agreement. Six to in the flesh, six and two is eight, eight is new beginning. But I see a new beginning, a new beginning for you. And God's anointing is upon your life. Great things shall happen in this season of your life, said the Holy Ghost. He's going to bring you into a deeper intimacy with him. And, and where you sit, your presence is going to be very important. Because God's going to let you hear some things. You're going to begin to hear some things. That's going to be life changing. Even within the next 12 months, said the Holy Ghost. Come on, give it Glory to God. Amen. I want to ask somebody, what did God say to you today that you know God said to you today? Don't worry, it's all fixed. Don't worry, it's all fixed. What did God say to you, man of God? Try not to control things that's out of your control and uh, just stay focused and walk in peace and love. What did God say to you? Um, don't give up. It's not over. Oh. Amen. 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 Okay, quick. He said, make a decision to move Amen. and to go and do. Amen. Make a decision Amen. to move and go and do. Yes. What God said to you, young lady? Let go of your past. Yes. Amen. 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 What God said to you, Genesis? What God said to you? 
Hear God. Amen. Yes. What God said to you. Amen. Um, continue to walk in my faith. Lord, I believe this. This believe God. You know, however it starts. You know, Amen. Continue to walk in your faith. What God said to you, Teddy? Uh, don't don't cry. Oh, what God yeah. said you, little prophet? Yes. Uh, don't let what now? Little notes knock you out of your spirit. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Margo, okay. What you got that? some little, little, little profit? What? What, what you hear? Help the people just promise and let them just give you Amen. 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 Okay. Um, uh, which, 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 who, 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 um, what you hear? Oh, wow. <laughs> I heard God say a lot. I okay, well, God tell us a lot. Me, <laughs> I heard God tell me to, Besides. um, mm -hmm. I heard God tell me to, first off, stop running from, stop running from things, to stop mm -hmm. acting in my emotions, learn to control those things, Amen. learn to quit. Using my learn to learn to stop using my mouth to speak death over things that I haven't even saw out yet. Mm -hmm. um, to have more confidence in Him. Amen. To, if I have more confidence in Him, then I'll be able to strengthen my faith. My faith has been as strong because I'm not I haven't been praising Him through it. I've been looking at it from mm -hmm. the other side of things. So when mm -hmm. you don't have confidence in yourself and confidence in the God in you, mm -hmm. you you can't really operate in Amen. faith. So if I do those things, it's going to be okay. Amen. Amen. And, and what has God said to you? Amen. Yes. He told me to keep on. Keep, keep on. Keep on doing what I'm doing. Don't don't stop. Don't procrastinate. Keep pushing forward. Absolutely. Amen. 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 Mother, you got something? <clears throat> you got something, Mom? Yes, ma'am. Obey, Obey him. Amen. 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 Margo. Restoration. Oh, Restoration. Amen. Restitution. 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 Amen. Your faith had no limits. Right. Did y'all catch that? Your faith, your faith don't know no limits. Mm -hmm. Faith would do what you believe it to do. Amen. Your faith look like your belief system. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Yes. Your faith would take up on what you believe. Your faith would create the image of your belief system. I'm talking to someone right now. See, no, it, no, the faith is, it doesn't know. It, it'll do what you say. Mm -hmm. That's why you, you said in the scripture, he said, where is your faith? You know, but what do you know? He said, he said, so you didn't see that we was going to make it to the others? You have to wake me up? Mm. You, you, in other words, when I gave you the prophetic word Sunday that you was going over, that you was going to live and not die, why did you die when you got to the doctor's office? Why did you die when that bill came in the mail? I just told you you had the victory. Mm. <laughs> so, so why are we here at these? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm only saying what I'm going to say. Let yeah. us go over. Let us go over. over. On the other yeah. side. Yeah. Well, they did that, remember? They had, he had just fed out the people. Mm. Miraculous. They just seen the miracle. You just walked around with the miracle worker. How in the world you walking around great? And you worry about the vision. Right. And all of a sudden you getting worried. Right. Again, right. you can trust me with your life, but you can't trust me with your money. Mm. Come on. You say you say, and you believe in eternal life, but $500 kicking your butt. Mm. Ties it off and kicking your butt. But you say, you see what I'm saying? Mm. You need to speak to that situation. Stop yeah. letting it no, talk no. to you. you yeah. say, Stop letting Stop your money here. talk to you. Talk to your money. Yeah. Yeah. Even your money. Yeah. I taught y'all this. You've been under me. Y'all know I taught y'all this. Mm. Your money say what? In God we trust. Mm. Hello. On your money. Your money wow. say in God wow. we trust. <laughs> if you don't want to read the word, read your money. <laughs> if you don't read, often come, you ain't got to go to the scripture. This week, in God we trust. trust. Come on. Your money say, in God we trust. And then, and then it's one eye, then it's one eye looking at you. Mm. So, yeah. now, put us to work. Put your mind to work. Put your spirit to work. That's right. Is anybody, is anybody hearing this? Amen. Yeah. Huh? Amen. See, if you, if you try to do it without God, you're going to do it without God. Ooh. 
I just said something. If you if you do what I got, you gonna do what I got. You gonna do what I got. Huh? Man, I'm so glad I ain't got to look at it. I'm so glad I don't have to look at that stuff. I walk by faith and I work it too. I work it. 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 I told I told I told I don't know who it was. I told somebody of the other who was here the Sunday that I prophesied to two men in uh. On, on Facebook about this photo, so too. I guess it's a million that's been looking at me. Yeah. And, and I told him, I said, I said, there's two million that's looking at me. It's yeah. so a, a, a million dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you know, some people got hurt and got kind of, you know what I mean, a certain way, you know what I mean? Who cares? Yeah. Huh? The, they got the mail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it went to the right address. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting nothing from the dollars. You, you follow me? Right. If Mark, if your name was, was, was on the mail, you got the mail. Mm -hmm. If your name uh, was on the mail, you got the mail. Mm -hmm. That's right. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Let, me, let me tell you something. Don't ever be afraid to say what God said. Be afraid not to say what he said. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. See, don't right. be afraid to say what he said. Right. Be afraid not to say what he said. Ooh, you, in other words, you, oh, because now you're looking at the crowd. You're looking at the crowd. You tell the marriage people about the crowd, about like what they got on. I, I'll tell you about the time that we, me and my wife years ago went to buy a car, and I was dressed, you know, I wasn't kind of bad, though. I was kind of looking thrown. I was looking thrown, man. I was looking thrown. And uh, I think I had a whole different show. You know, we kicking it, you know what I mean? We just decided, we just, we just decided to, to, uh, uh, we was looking for a Cadillac. We were looking for the Cadillac back in the day. We were looking for a Cadillac, and roll up on the Cadillac shop, and I got this old T-shirt on, and I ain't looking right, and we just looking that day, and, 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 and folks looking at us through the window. Because they didn't want to come out because they thought we couldn't buy. Mm -hmm. Well, the next yeah. day we came back and did what we had to do. And everybody that didn't move, yes, yeah, don't you move. I remember you. Mm -hmm. uh -uh, I don't want you to go. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you can't judge people how they look. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 How do money look? It might look like it wants. When you got it, it look like it wants to look. Mm -hmm. You think Oprah can't care how you think how she look? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think so. You think I call you? I don't think so. Yeah. Who else? Did I miss anybody? Anybody? What 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 God what you got? What what you get the camera man? What'd you get? What did God say you? Creation is uh your creation is your currency. Your creation is your currency. That's good. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Your creation is your currency. Yep. Well, if if you don't know what he's saying, what you create becomes your currency. Mm. Absolutely. Did you hear that? What you create becomes your currency. Don't create it. I, I, I think I think everything you need to be, be able to draw wealth. Yeah. I think oh, everything God. you do should draw wealth. Yeah. Your time should draw wealth. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. Because how many know nothing's free? Oh, even, even when you say you get you had favor, somebody paid for that favor. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got a free, but somebody paid for it. So nothing's free. You, you went to the park free? You go, how many went to the park free? Just in your neighborhood. It was free to go and run? Mm -hmm. yeah. It ain't free. Yeah. Taxpayers yeah. pay for that. Right. Right. It ain't free. That ain't free. Right. Even at work pay for that. Right. Ain't nothing free. Yeah. Wow. Get sick. You know what? You can't be sick free. Yeah. Woo, for sure. They charge you. They charge you to be sick. Every time it's expensive. Did you know it's yes. expensive to be sick? Yeah. Look at all this yeah. gonna get in. Look at all this gonna get in. <laughs> and, put, and put the business out of business. Put the doctors out of business. Yeah. You know, I'm saying this like I'm coming to the club. What time we got? Go ahead, Pastor. Get an envelope down this morning. Six. Huh? One oh six. Oh one oh six. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Well, we ain't dealing with Tad and and and, and, uh, and uh, no Tad products and no one of no sponsors. But anyway, we, we we're done. Anyway, um, go ahead, Pastor. Envelope out. Let me do this here right quick. Let's get us off the air right quick. If if, if you have heard this word. And you desire to receive Jesus as your personal Savior, we want to give you an opportunity to do that right now. How you, how you, how you do that? By simply just saying, God, forgive me of all my sins. And I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ. He shed his blood and died for me and raised him from the dead that I could be saved. Now, if you want part in that right now, I want you, everybody to say with me and everybody in social media, say, God. 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 
save me. Save me. I believe you sent your son, I believe you sent your Jesus, son Christ, Jesus Christ to die for me. To die for me. He shed his blood, shed his died blood. on the cross, died on the and cross. you raised him from the dead and you that, him I that I could be saved. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come, Spirit come now into my life. Now I believe my faith that my sins have been forgiven. I believe my faith, forgiven. I believe my faith I believe my that I'm saved. That I am and filled with your Holy Spirit. Holy Thank Spirit. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving me. For saving me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, you are saved. Yes. I pray that God is going to lead, send some shepherd or send somebody back that's going to lead you further into the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. If you desire to be a blessing to this, this ministry, you want to sow a seed, you can go to PayPal.com. Key in Prophet Darrell, D-A-R-R-E-L-L, -L, Johnson, 1958 at yahoo.com. Amen. The Bible said, give and it shall be given unto us. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give unto our bosom. Well, until we meet again, go and grow in the things of God, and we'll see you next time on Spiritual Empowerment for Success in Life. See you next time. God bless. God bless. Amen. 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 God said he'd give seed to the sower, bread to the eater, and that the sun is multiplied. If you pay in uh, by check, make check payable.